Oh my word, I have had an absolute nightmare getting this exported. The red wine fox, you have to speed him up and oh, put clown music over the top of him, otherwise it's just too monotone. This is taking ages. And then I had a problem with my OneDrive and oh, so I had to then export it, the whole damn thing again. So it's getting quite late now, but hey ho. Let's get through it. Let's get through. Let's get through. Um, here he is, Wayne Fox, Merchant of Doom. Now, as you can well imagine, I haven't actually listened to this. Um, who wants to listen to it twice? If it gets ridiculous, we'll skip him. Um, but anyway, let's jump right in. Can barely wait. Oh, we've missed him. <laughs> we Jeff. He was playing a song about revolution and doom and gloom, you know, standard, so I skipped that bit. Good evening, brothers and sisters. Hello. This is unannounced. Um... This is unannounced. It's official, though, but it's unannounced. <laughs> okay, one. <laughs> Full of your self importance again, I see. I've been getting some. You have what? Things shown to me. And, uh,. Why who? Visions? Voices in your head? you got to remember, not to be fearful. Not to be fearful. You're the only one that goes around trying to make everyone scared. We're all fine. We know it's going to be a rough time, but we're all right. We've been through worse. You've got to stand in your power now. Oh, God. What I'm going to tell you now. Well, according to Tracy, well, none of us are going to have any power. You know, the lights are going to be out and we're going to be freezing to death. A minute. We'll, we'll probably shock a few of you. Just how you like it. God, even sped up. You know what's been going on in this world? You know, um, there's been a lot of uh, distractions and other things. And we know a lot of the things are coming to light now. Are they? Yeah. <clears throat> what I'm going to tell you? Yep. You're I don't know how you're going to take this, but you've got to be ready, guys. With a massive pinch of salt. No, I know how I'm going to take this with, like, well, not just a pinch, like a mountain. An EEC mountain full of salt. That's how many pinches I'm going to take of what you're going to tell us, because, you know, it's likely to be a load of all dross, isn't it? And I wouldn't put this out there. Put fear in you guys. Would you've been doing it for two years? Oh, don't tell me you're doing it for the children, though. Yeah, going to give everyone a miserable time. Mess around with their mental health. Mm-hmm. Going to do that, are you? What, for the little children? Yeah, thought so. I don't believe in fear. I know. <laughs> We're in a spiritual battle. Good versus evil. And I know. But soon, war is going to break out. Okay. I'll repeat that. War is going to break out. There's wars all over the world, pal. Oh, you mean it might affect us this time? Well, quite possible. Quite possible. But wars have been going on all around the world. Pretty much for my entire existence. Did you not know that? Is it only when it might affect you that it's a big deal? When it's like, I don't know, a million completely innocent Iraqi civilians is... You know, it's not such a deal, really. No, it was for me. So be ready. Start preparing to look after your family, your friends. Um, Hang on. Isn't this the same same plan as um? Well, the same advice as when we we're all going to be like by this time we we're all going to be sort of like. The shops were going to be empty and, you know, all the crops were failed. And, you know, basically, we were going to be like, I don't know, fighting over a packet of crisps. Get closer to God. Make your peace if you need to, guys. Well, you're going to, aren't you? We're, un we're in unprecedented times with what's going on in this world. And like I told you, it's a spiritual battle. And this spiritual battle is going to affect a lot of people in this world now. And there's a lot of people out there. 
Oh, well, because the other people that have been sort of like involved in wars through no fault of their own or for years and years and years, um, you know, this is just a, a UK thing, is it? Get ready. <clears throat> but remember, God knows the end before the beginning. He knows what's coming and what is going on. It's biblical, guys. You ain't making this up. I'm not making this up. I've been shown some things just of late. And, uh, yeah. It just keeps coming. Shown some things by who? By who? Or have you been printing crap off of the internet again? I mean, by who? To me, and I just... Is he going to start talking in tongues again? <laughs> oh, please do that. Go on. Do that. We need it. Looking at different things and looking how things are happening in this world. And what man's been doing to destroy the world. And this great distress that's coming on the world now, which is already here. And why? And has been here for an incredible long time. Incredibly long time. It just, I guess it just, you weren't aware of it. Because you lived your whole damn life apart from the two, last two years thinking, um, sod everyone else, I'm not interested. And then you found the internet during COVID times and um, you've turned into this manifestation of hell. Likes to rain down fear on everybody. It's here. A lot of us lost our way down here. And a lot of us now have realised. And mankind has been selfish. Mankind has been greedy. Always has. And now there's nothing more to take. Apart from a war. Oh, right, okay. We know lives are going to be lost. We know it's going to affect us all, but we need to be ready. And the only way this is going to play out, or whatever we're going to say, it's out of our hands, guys. It is out of our hands. No matter what we try and do, it's out of our hands. Exactly, so don't worry about it. Nothing you can do about it. Just um, hope for the best. This is the last battle that was planned. It's going to come into an effect. Really? Now, I don't know which way it's going to go, but I'll, I do know God wins. I don't know who's going to be affected by this, what countries, um, but I know it's going to affect the world. And we're not fearful. We're not fearful. We stand in our power. What? And, we... and, and the other wars haven't affected the world. Okay. Why is that? Why, why is that? No, if it's our time to leave, then we're going to leave, guys. But we mustn't be fearful. But we must... God, why don't we just call him Wayne Fox Sword of Damocles? Holy crap. Can you imagine? He lives with his elderly mother, doesn't he? Can you imagine this? You're in your twilight years. You should be kicking back, relaxing. you got this thing in your house, talking like this day in, day out. Ugh. Okay. All our material stuff doesn't mean nothing. No more. Because when this happens, when this war happens, mm. everything's going to be worthless, guys. <clears throat> but it didn't have to be this way. It didn't have to be this way. It was... Yeah, but as you said, Wayne... Mm -mm. Things could have been sorted. Wayne, as you've said, there's nothing we can do about it. So, yeah, in an ideal world, loads of things wouldn't have happened, but they have. Um, that's it. But you know there's evil in this world. Have you watched Bugs Life? On a very basic level, you might want to watch that film. It's kind of like that, you know? And you know. You might understand. What they've been doing. And it's got to stop. It'll never we stop. Don't want to go to war. We don't need to, you know, fight our brothers and sisters because it's not right. We know it's not right. But the evil ones want this war. And they're going to push their utmost to get this war. And with what's happening in Russia, things are changing and escalating very quick. Hang on, you said it wasn't that many months ago when you were ranting, <coughs> excuse me, ranting that um, why have we got to have all the refugees? You know, and reference him as they and stuff like that. You know, that was really bad. And you were making out it was all propaganda and it wasn't really real anyway. Hmm. Is it real now, Wayne, is it? Dickhead. And a lot of you have got to realise now. We mustn't be fearful. Whatever's coming. 
There's good people in this world that are fighting against the evil ones. You're not one of them. But we know. Whatever's gonna happen in this world, the devil and these demons never win. But this is gonna happen, guys. I should have sped him up. I don't think too. he's that far away. And you need to all prepare, guys. You need to get your ass. Guys, fearful. Don't need to be fearful. Guys, guys, guys. Power, guys. Blah, blah. I should have sped him up by two. He's not even sounding like a chipmunk or a smurf, is he? That's how slow he talks. My God. This is in order, because we don't know whether this country's going to be a target. Other countries around the world are going to be a target. I think it's gone beyond the place, Alex. Sorry, mate. I think it's gone beyond the place. What's happening? Well, the thing is, though, Wayne, like, you don't give a crap about anyone else, do you? Around the rest of the world, because you've said some pretty racist things, haven't you? So you only give a shit if it's on your doorstep or it affects your life in a tiny way. Happening in this world. This is the top of the trade, pushing for war. Like I told you, they've robbed, raped, and pillaged, and stolen the money of the, of the wealth from people. And now the truth's coming out. And a lot of people are not going to be happy with what's happened to them and their loved ones. What they've done with the, with the vaccines. Oh, Cure God. Evil. Be quiet. Now, war's going to break out. Stop I don't it. think it's that far away, guys. And I think it'll escalate. And all of you, really. Yeah, well, you're not going to get called up, are you, you fat git? What are you worried about? Later. Look out for your loved ones, guys. Okay, clean your ears out. Things are going to crash. Good. And this is what's going to lead to war. And a lot of us in our time have not seen proper war. Hang, hang, hang on, does, does he not know what's going on in Russia and the Ukraine? Does he not know about that? Alrighty. We've seen skirmishes. But this is probably going to be a different ball game. And we know, no one wins with a war. No one wins. It's just losing lives themselves. I'm sad. Oh, shut sad. up. I think we've got a beautiful world. And it's just a few that try to destroy it. Try to colonise it. Try to destroy good people. And have been since day dot. Oh, he's so brand new, isn't he? <sighs> With their lies. And their murderous ways. <laughs> what is he going on about? Today, I was sent a message, a live video to watch, and I watched it. <laughs> and it was. <laughs> it was shouting on the internet, taking the piss out of a fat bird. Was it? <laughs> Guess not. A launch in Florida. <laughs> and it was so, so funny to watch, guys. Because I know what? in my spirit, I test the spirit, and I know. I know. Really? And there's a picture of five astronauts, and they're all on this uh, SpaceX spacecraft, taking off today. <laughs> and to think, no man or woman can ever leave this world and escape this world. We're all destined to leave within this world. We die. Our spirits leave. But to think how they try to fool the world again with their distractions and their lies. Man's never been to the moon, guys. It was all fabricated, it was all lies, it was all propaganda. But the world fell for the lies, like people fell for the... Oh, I don't... Who cares? Who cares if they went to the moon or not? I don't. I don't. Is it possible it was all made up? Anything's possible. But why do you care, Wayne Fox? Why do you care? Maybe. It's, pretty, it's so brand new. Governments might have lied to us, really. The Iraqi war. <laughs> well, yeah. What do you care about that for? You're not going anywhere, are you? But now, you're going to see the war break out. Yeah, you said. And a lot of those soldiers that are being sent out there to fight their fellow brothers and sisters. It's such a shame to actually think they're just following orders from evil. Not from good, but from evil. And when's it been any different? Hmm? Hmm? 
Mm. They was to put their guns down and not fight. Things could change. But you know, you know, they're not going to allow that. You know, they want the war. I don't know exactly, that. Exactly, Gary. There's so many lies. The truth's coming out, brother. Everything's coming out. Is it? You know, everything's coming out. And most of the history that you've been told, when you really check it out and really work it out and look at it, did it really happen? What? I mean today. We yeah. see things on the television. What? And you believe. Stop watching it then. Most of us don't anymore. I can't remember the last time I watched mainstream news or TV. It's miserable. I'm <laughs> just like, get Netflix, bro. If you're that skint, you can have the password to mine. You know, stop doing this. But you don't understand it unless you're really there. But it's funny to think. It's not, none of right. this is funny. Things like war can put fear into people, can make them do things, can make them frightened, can control them. This was one of our lessons down here, not to be controlled by fear guys. But a lot of us allowed it. Oh, of... I'm so bored of Prophet Wayne. Sorry, this goes on for hours. Uh, I'm skipping a chunk. He's not going to change, is he? You see, it's going to be the same theme all the way through. Let's just take a big chunk out of it. This is ridiculous. Not waking up with fear in our mind. Oh my God, we've just skipped loads. Same, same, same. The answer's within here. Oh, is it? And we're realising it. And no matter whatever happens, guys, that fear. Do you know what I've learned? I've learned the next time I do one of these, I'm speeding you up by two. You are so slow. You mustn't let it affect you no more. No matter what happens. That... It seems to only be affecting you, Wayne. You're the only one fixated on it. Nobody else will going about a normal business. Fear, you've got to stand there in your power. Oh, good Remember, God. no one's above, no one's below. You're all on the same level. You might be on different paths, but you're all on the same level. And evil has had its reign for far too long, thousands of years, and the time's coming to an end. <sighs> Where good people are coming together all over the world and uniting. And doing what? And doing what? See, we're back to that again. The grand plan for these great people all connecting up, all your weirdo mates around the world. What are you actually doing? Don't be fuck all like normal. Sorry, I was distracted. I thought one boy was going to be coming downstairs there for a minute. <laughs> it was actually... <laughs> we were trying to find some devil horns. Because um, I've got Canva that I use for my thumbnails. And... Um, <laughs> it's like, I'm like, God, it was like shopping. It was like a shopping cart, and we were trying to find the right devil horns for Wayne. And because uh, his head was at an angle on the screenshot that I took, couldn't quite get them. And then I thought, what about some clown hair? Um, couldn't quite get that either. It was like a little shopping cart, and <laughs> he was just cracking up. He was really laughing. And I was like, oh, yes, <laughs> it's Sunday evening. <laughs> And maybe, just maybe, we see a miracle happen. Where people realise we don't need to. So you're to talking like old crap. We don't need a miracle for that, Wayne. We know you're talking load of old crap. Man, you need some hobbies. I mean, should we send you, I don't know, some crochet patterns or something like that? I mean, you need a hobby, dude. Oh God, and it's getting winter time, he's going to be in even more, isn't he? On the internet even more, winding himself up and then passing it on to everyone else. Your dear leader is a right old misery guts, isn't he? War happens, guys. Yes, it does, and always has. And there's lies, cheats. Yep. Pointing a finger at someone else. Yep. Blaming people. Yeah, and you're so brand new, you've only found that out recently. What a knobber. I hate them. We know. Oh God! Life is funny. So we need to be prepared. Ow! What? Stocking up on food again? Is that the plan? Is that the grand plan? Because I don't think you've got sons, have you? Because talking like this, I've got sons.
I guess some of the people you're trying to scare has got sons. So how are you going to prepare for that? Hmm? You can't, can you? So be quiet. Is he still with us? Oh, Christ. Oh, we were going to nearly do a welfare check then. Did he have a pulse? Beautiful children. We're in this world. What must oh. they be thinking? Hearing all this going on, seeing these things going on. What must they be thinking growing up? But they're not, are they? Kids live in their own little bubble. And only if their stupid parents subject them to this sort of fear-mongering um, would they even have it in mind. Children, by their very nature, are quite selfish little creatures. <laughs> they care about birthday parties, school, what are they going to wear, uh, what, what are they getting for Christmas, what are they getting for their birthdays, are they going football practice? Yeah, that's what, that's, that's what they think about. And what's for dinner? And are we there yet? That's pretty much kids. All right, they're a lot more complex than that. But unless they're unless they're twenty four seven got a household where people are speaking doom and gloom, they're just going to be fine. They're playing over the park. There's a park up the road. The kids look fine to me. It's been a really nice day today down here. Like a little bit chilly, but the kids have all been in the park today, having a grand old time. Walk the other way, could have gone down the beach, they'd have been having a grand old time down the beach as well. Like, stop being stupid. I'll allow this no more, guys. Guys. Do you know what the clown music sinks? You sinks with, like, how fast I've sped him up? And he, it, it, and it can't, can it? Because he's so damn slow. That time is nearly here. That time is nearly here. <sighs> we've been graced with what we've had so far. But they keep pushing, keep pushing, they keep pushing. I cannot believe people sit here, listen to him. Not sped up, no clown music, no one taking the pee. Can you imagine how miserable you go to bed? If this was this was what you watched beforehand? <sighs> you end up shuffling around in your dressing gown and slippers like one flew over the fucking cuckoo's nest. Speak! To think, all these greedy people have made money from other people's death. Yeah, we've heard that. Selling their weapons to destroy other human beings. Yep, yeah, you've How heard that. that How evil is that? It's pretty grim. Putting each other against each other. Yep. It's race. Religion. How evil is that? Then. God, where are the trolls when you need them? How are you not getting trolled? Oh, by the way, <laughs> he blocked me. Guess what? I'm back. <laughs> I got one of Tracy Wells' videos as well here, but I can't stomach that. <laughs> I cannot stomach that. I haven't even started exporting and speeding that up and putting clown music on yet. Uh, but it looks like it's a real belter. <laughs> and that's for you, Sharon Girl. Oh, wait. Look forward to help, because that's where you're going. Okay. I'm no judge of it, but you're going to hell for what you've done to Thank good you. people down here. Thank you. Your heart's going to become even heavier. You're not going to be resting, <laughs> but enjoy what you have. Okay, I'll go away. God's been watching you. Has he? Have a good night, and God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Anything else? It doesn't matter, guys, because it affects them. The evil. That wasn't me trolling him. I only nicked that this morning. This is about four days old. Once it affects them, and you've seen how it affects them. They're losing the battle down there. They're losing their power against good. And that's all they can use. That's all they can use. Blasphemery. <laughs> well, it's so sad to see. What? I'm a blasphemer? I'm not a blasphemer at all. I've just said that I'm agnostic. I haven't been dead yet, so I don't know. Cheeky kit. Although at least I'm not a fundamental Christian and a racist and a fantasist.
and completely deluded. But anyway, we're all different. Hi, brother, wine, the ever forgiving person. <laughs> you, anyone's going to hell, it's you, mate. I say, I say. There best not be a fake me there trolling him. <laughs> that evil person is gone there, guys. I've blocked it. It's funny, Ali. That wasn't me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what is wrong with him? Got nothing better to do with their lives. That's why their lives are so un. I'm up late. I mean, it's gone nine o'clock for me. This is usually I'm in the bath by now. I'm certainly not watching lives on Facebook. That's for sure. Happy. That's why they do these evil things because they've got no peace in their heart. And you have. You know. You Look at how you're talking, Wayne. Look at how you live your life. Look at what you're subjecting your elderly mother to when she's in a in a later years of life where she should be kicking back and being peaceful. You've got, she's got you in the house talking like this. Honestly. You've got to forgive them, guys. You've got to forgive them. We're not God there now. We don't judge them. We just delete them. Thank you. you just said I was going to hell. <laughs> I ain't ever forgiving Pastor Wayne. But it just shows their true colours, who they really are. Oh, my God. He gets so triggered, doesn't he, by trolls. The love that you all have for each other is amazing, guys. Amazing. And what you've done on this journey. And how you've all... No, not your weirdos. Your weirdos are full of hate and conspiracies and fear and anxiety, really. Um, but, yeah, the human species as a, as a whole, um, we're not naturally vile to each other. Um, people do vile things. But I'm one of these people that goes around and I actually think fundamentally people are pretty much good but then there's the exceptions to the rule like you but then you've gone nuts you've gone nuts during covid so it's not really your fault you fell in with bloody Jeanette Archer that lunatic I mean <clears throat> signs were there pal but you've carried it on haven't you so that's pretty nasty come together and now you're all standing together <laughs> and you're all definitely over the target guys you're all over that target because of what you've been doing and what you've been exposing and they the evil ones don't like all that. And this is what's happening now. This I is why they need a war to try and cover up their dirty little lies, their dirty little secrets. Well, I don't think like causing mass genocide, you could say dirty little lies or dirty little secrets. I mean, like, it's not, not a little thing, is it? It's not going to go away because the truth is coming out. Truth came out over the Iraq war. What happened? Nothing. And that's it. I only speak the truth, guys, and I only put out... No, you don't, Wayne. No, you don't. Love. I don't talk to hate. I don't hate no one. Oh, he does. He does. This is this is like a little, little thing. Look at his face. <laughs> yeah, looks like he's full of love there. But it's funny how it affects the demons. It's funny how it affects these trolls that keep coming on. So trolls are now demons. Okay. <laughs> I think there's a little bit too much credit going on there. Where are the entity now? Aren't demons other entities? If you believe in that, because you have to have like a base of religion to, I guess, believe in that, which I don't. So I don't believe that demons exist. Um, <clears throat> but what's he going on about? So trolls are now other entity. What the hell? He's not. People's pages because they know. We speak the truth. But the demons go and attack people's pages. What a pissy little Facebook pages. Well, I thought the devil would have had like a lot more going on. You know, I thought we were... What is he like? And that truth hurts. Does it? That's Christine. The door always prevails over evil. And they don't like it when we show the love. They don't like it when we speak our truth. 
<laughs> and when you're forgiven, that really affects them. It sets them on fire because they can't rest. Eh? <laughs> yeah, they can't rest. Oh, he's talking absolutely mindly, it's joyful. Oh dear. I'm going to skip a bit more. This is ridiculous. I wonder if he changes the topic. I bet he doesn't. Let's take him another 15 minutes or so. I think all the land. God, I just think I don't like. I, I would have missed him giving me a shout out. Damn, that was lucky skipping. All the land, all, all the ocean, all the seas, all the sky. Man tried yeah. to claim and said he owns it. No one owns nothing. nothing. No one owns nothing. Whatever you got on paper, no one owns nothing. Because when you go back in time, you say to that man. Well, you don't. You're living in your mum's house. But I do get what you mean. Where did you buy the land from? Who? Where did you get it from? And then that next person says, I got it from that person. And then that person. But who was the land originally? Who did you get it off of? You stole it. You claimed it. What? And that's what they done. You're feeling it as well, Kim. People had to live somewhere though, didn't they? And they were growing their own food and like they had their own little homestead things and like... What's he going on about? Well, whatever's coming, we must. I guess we lease it for a lifetime, I guess, and you pay a fee for it. I guess that's it. Okay. King gets visions and dreams, guys. Have beautiful souls is today. Oh, God. Remy also. A load of you do. A load of you do. A load of you. Well, I wonder why. Is that because 24 7 they're listening to nonsense like this? It's affecting their mental health and the thoughts that they're having. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That's how propaganda works, isn't it? They've been getting visions and, you know. The one thing we got, which they never take from us, guys, is our peace and the love that we have for each other. Oh, okay. can never break us. Our spirits are not going to be broken no matter how much. This is just rinse and repeat. They try. We're too blah, 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 blah. blah. Who we are. God bless your sister. Blah, 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 blah. Exactly. I'm getting bored of this. Getting really, really evil bored. That they don't. Oh, destroy. God. We've heard it, right? He's still saying the same thing over and over again. Do you reckon he needs some help? He's getting worse, isn't he? For just keep repeating. Look at the emotions we have when we're sad. Yeah. How we feel within. Yeah. When we cry, then tears come from inside our body and down our cheeks. And? When something's really wrong, our heart starts to flutter. It all comes from within. But because we allow the worldly world to control us, we don't think like that no more. What? They've been spraying oh. skies all the time. Oh god, we're back to the chemtrails. Holy crap. Whoa. And again, I fell down this rabbit hole absolutely years and years ago. Oh look, nothing changed. We're all still here. The crops are still perfectly alright. Um, and Wayne, and a bit more fear monger in there. Brilliant. Nice one. And you know, because they're trying to poison people, they can't get them one way with poison in their blood. Oh, ah, he's going to start talking about vaccines. Skip. Can't be doing with that. You've got the answer straight away. You're not running the program. What they want you to use. You come out with the answer and they can't answer you back. Because you're too powerful for them. And this is what a lot of you have learnt over this last year or so. And this is why their empire's collapsing now. Because what? you're realising you're standing in your power at last. The empire's collapsing. Okay. Alrighty. Could just be going into a global recession again. I'm not sure we ever came out of the last one, but in 2004, was it seven or eight? I think we've just been uh, shuffling money. Well, stocks. You're ascending, you're all waking up. Oh, God. And they don't want that. And this is why this war's coming. But they're going to try and make you fearful of it. They're going to try their utmost now. Thank all for it, guys. I mean, I, I'm going to watch the BBC news um, and just find out where all this fear mongering's coming from because it sounds like it's just coming from him. I mean, I'm quite sure I would have heard about it if, like, all the chat on the chat on the news was going to be like massive war about to kick off. Yes, it is an incredibly volatile political situation at the moment. Um, 
and it's close to home. It is close to home. Um, it's in it's in Europe now with the with Ukraine. Um, there's been really volatile political situations that have been just as bad as this, but not on not on our well sort of doorstep. Um, <clears throat> but Wayne Wayne's forgotten about that. I'm sure I would have heard if the the you know Sam would have come back. They have the news playing at work and stuff like that. You keep coming. You keep standing together. You keep working together. You keep showing the love to your brothers and sisters. Do not give them that anger and hate. They harvest that. That's what they need. They want everyone to turn on each other. Don't do it. The foolish ones will find out the truth. Because. You're standing that power. Oh, God. I ain't got an answer for you. Look how many of you down here. I've learned so many lessons on your oh. journeys. Look, Look at him, he's just repeating the same shit over and over. All right, I'm skipping a load of this out. <coughs> same day. Prayer is powerful. Say some prayers. Ask God to remove what you're feeling. <laughs> prayer is powerful, guys. And we know. Is it? A lot of you have never used prayer, some of you have. I've seen lot of soldier guides, signs, wonders and miracles down here. I've seen people cured and healed with my very own eyes. And I'm not Oh my god, he's now what do you mean? I see a blind man see I said well, what's he talking about now? I've not heard this before. I'm making this up guys, I'll speak the truth. Some self employed builder. Like really, Wayne, you've seen miracles happen, have you? You've seen people be cured. From what? <laughs> I don't think sending people batshit crazy is a cure. I mean, you don't need to cure people of sanity, do you? If any of you have got Wi-Fi in your house at, like, at night, turn it off. If you've got your phones, turn them off. Because they all send transmit, transmit signals around you while you're sleeping. Anything Wi-Fi, switch it off, guys. Also, say a prayer before you go to bed. Pray for you, your family, your friends, people of the world, you know, pray for peace. Oh, what, them people of the world, like, that you didn't want here? Why have we always got to have them? Why are they coming here? <laughs> them ones, yeah, because you've got them in your heart, haven't you, Wayne? We know that. Prayers, go up, guys. All of you have probably witnessed it in your life, where you get an angry moment. Where someone said the wrong thing, where you've had a bad day, but you take it out on your loved one, you take it out on someone else, you get angry with someone, you know. Why do you think that is? It's because you've been conditioned to do that. What? So does that mean that means like when animals they'll have a scrap amongst themselves. Uh, they've been conditioned to do that as well. They've been trained by the deep state to do that, have they? No, people get on each other's nerves. We're all different. That's how that happens. <laughs> have a catalogue of catalogue of things that happen. Life happens. Every you know, it's an undulating road, isn't it? Um, <laughs> what is he talking about? He's insane. He's getting worse. Oh, bless you, Misha. Michelle's suffering nosebleeds, guys. Have you been getting them frequently, or is it just a... here and there, Michelle? Oh, the symptom from Mark Steele. Do you remember that, when he had that photo? That's when um, he really fell out with me. Well, blocked me from everything. When uh, he showed a picture of um, over in Thailand, it was in Bangkok, and... Um, tried to make out that they'd just turned on um, 5G over there and it was from years before and it was just like terrible terrible pollution um, that's what caused the nosebleeds over there it was bad Bangkok is like stinking because um, it's so humid and it's so busy 
and uh, air quality is absolutely shocking at certain times of the year. And um, it was causing causing nosebleeds. It had nothing to do with 5G or even 3G, I don't think, at that stage. It was such an old article, and he put it up. Let's say some prayers, guys, for all of our brothers and sisters oh, here tonight no. and everyone else in the world for peace, love and unity. Yeah, as long as they don't come over here, bloody refugees. Eh, hey, Wayne? Is that right? Or have you changed your tune? You found compassion, have you, in the last couple of months? Should have had it before, shouldn't you? Exactly, Kim. Always go to bed and apologise. <coughs> never, never go to bed, bed angry, guys. I'll tell you why you get angry, though. It's because you've been conditioned to the wealthy world. But now you're getting spiritually connected. You're going to think before you do it. You're going to start saying, I don't need to do that. Why am I getting myself all upset? Why am I, you know, feeling anxiety and nervous and angry and hatred for someone? No, no I, think you, I think you might be speaking about yourself there, Wayne. Maybe that's how you feel. No, it's not the way. It's not the way. Don't self-project on us, it's thanks. What we got coming, guys? Oh, God. Are you ready now? Because it's going to happen. <laughs> well, this is enthralling, isn't it? Well, it affects you. It affects you. When you hurt other people, it does. It comes back on you. And you might not understand that, but it does. It does. God bless you. Blimey, your crew have got something coming back for them then, haven't they? Karma's going to be all right. What's it? Not that I really believe in that either. Hey Sandy, I'm gonna say, I'll say some prayers for every single one of you tonight, guys, before I go to bed. And all your beautiful family and friends and all our brothers and sisters in this world, you know, who are suffering out there. Apart from anyone in the Ukraine that might want to be a refugee in England, yeah? Is that right? Or if you change your tune? We need to address this, Wayne. They've been lied to and deceived, you know. Send the love out, guys. Send the love out. Oh, bless you. Should we pray for the people of Haiti? Should we? Know anything about that? How bad it is over there? The most dangerous place on earth. Collapsing everything. So, are you going to say a little prayer for them? Because you're so socially and globally aware these days. But you know, we mustn't be fearful, guys. We really mustn't. No one's fearful. You're and the one that keeps saying it. That's it. And remember, yep. we mustn't be fearful of death. <laughs> There's nothing to be fearful of, guys. There really isn't. That's what the world's done to you, the worldly world. Just put that thought in your mind, you're all going to die. This is going to happen. And you, and well, no, it's the only certainty from when you're born, isn't it? You've got an expiry date. None of us know when it is. It's a natural thing to have fear of the unknown. All right, religion has chucked in. You've got to be fearful of dying. Actually, it was religion that done that. Um, we've all known we've got an expiry date. We just don't know when it is. I mean, I'd like to hope that when my time's up, it's not going to be long and dragged out. Um, but I'm not frightened of it. You know, you'd like to have an easier ride out. You know, but I'm not, I'm not particularly scared of it. It's not something I'm looking forward to either. <laughs> you know, do I think there's something on the other side? No, I absolutely don't. I think we're here just to be part of the food chain and be biomatter and everything keeps going along. Here to make more of us, just like every other living thing on this planet. We come here, we make more of us, we expire, we end up being biomatter. That's pretty much how I see it now i don't know if i'm right or not but the only one that keeps talking about fear is you wayne isn't it no it affects you because it's even known <laughs> you don't know what's there but they're telling you you're gonna die and so what when we die we die we're not gonna know nothing who's telling you who's you're telling us and nobody needs to tell us that we know that we we know we've got an expiry date who, what do you mean they're telling us? Telling us what? Religion told us to be scared of it. Oh, well, we're going to be leaving this world. This body is just going to go back to the dust. Because that's what it is. It's a body. It's a vessel. It's travelling. Oh. 
and that's it. To connect with their brothers and sisters. So basically, this was ages and ages long. It's been sped up by 0.5 here. Um, and basically, it was him doing massive pauses, living in his own head. And that was about it repeating, rinse and repeat from what he said in the first five minutes. So he could have just banged this out in five minutes. Well, now you've overcome fear. Now you've overcome death. Just embrace what we got with our fellow brothers and sisters and our children. Does anyone overcome death? I thought it was quite a final thing. Yeah, yeah, I have had death, but I got better. Shut up. And do our best and forgive those who trespass against us and lead us into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for lies of kingdom, the power and glory forever and ever. Mm -hmm. Can you talk in tongues now? I didn't quite get it. <laughs> <laughs> I think the news has had its day, Kim. I think a lot of people now are switching it off because they know it's all lies. They know it's all lies, guys. They know it's all lies. I'm telling you, media is just as bad. Switch off from the lot of it. It's brought your brothers and sisters together. See, it's brought your brothers and sisters together. Your brothers and sisters you never knew, but now you know. Yeah, and now you're estranged from your family and your close friends because you've gone batshit crazy and you've fell down every rabbit hole of conspiracy theory and you've isolated yourselves. Yeah, well done. Some of you ain't even met each other. You're just speaking to each other by connecting on here. Mm. But it's funny how you're all connecting now and how you're all going away with that seed that's been planted in you to share with others. And it's like a domino's effect going around the world. Because everybody... And they've all connected by the evilness of Wi-Fi and Facebook. Wow, good has overcome evil. <laughs> it's starting to come together. <laughs> Is he gutted that his live stream hasn't been interrupted here? Because he, he gets quite animated about that. Yep, they're, they're trying to shut us down. Yep, yep, yep. Look, they don't like what we're saying. Let me tell you, Sunday. A lot of people will become spiritual. When they're in the wealthy world, there's like a vow when you get married, a vow that's not been removed. But when the vow gets removed and you become spiritual, you see things differently. You feel things differently. You understand things differently. And this is where we are. We're waking up. We're realising. And we know we are powerful. And we know that what we've been conditioned to, to think and be controlled by doesn't work no more. It doesn't work. And yeah, that new variant is in the world now. And it's called the Truth Variant and it's spreading really fast. And it's going round the world. Going round the world. Oh, bless you, Sandy. Beautiful name. Beautiful name. You've all got beautiful names. You've all been blessed with those beautiful names, guys. Every single one of you. And it's good to see you all connect with each other and share. Share your truths and help each other. This is what life's about. Is it? Amen. Amen. He's such a cult leader, isn't he? He really thinks he is. I mean, he's like a pound lounge cult cult leader. It's not going anywhere, is it? It's just going to be like it's just it's pathetic, isn't it? Really. I mean, it was nice of him when the lorry drivers were all stuck on the motorway and stuff like that, and he was doing that. That was actual genuine help. Um, you know, that was good. That was good. Why can't he just focus on things like that? Like, I don't know. I mean, don't find the local ladies' shelter or things like that. But, like, I don't know, just, just find local groups where you can actually help. There's loads of them. Loads of them. And they're all without money and they're all without manpower. And they all need some help. Why don't he focus doing things like that? Why has he got to do this shit? Oh, yeah, because he's an ego. I just wanted to come on, guys, tonight and just explain what's coming. I'll just tell you. you well, you've explained nothing. You've done rinse and repeat on something that's not backed with any facts. It's just you. Just you and how your brain works. 
Just be prepared. So forgive each other. So not Apart from me. <laughs> get angry. So not be controlled no more. Unless it's at me. And all of you. <laughs> May God bless every single one of you out there. Oh, thanks, Wayne. Whatever you need, guys. Within reason. Whatever we need within reason. How about you stop fear mongering and you just stop this nonsense? How about that? Won't cost a penny. With everything. And it's amazing to see how you all connect in that. How you're oh, all sharing God. your truths. Look at him. He's looking at these little cult members there. Oh, look at them. They're all on Facebook. And that's all because of me. They're here because of me, 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 me. And don't forget about me. <laughs> well, you never expected that, did you? Oh, God. Putting out the love to each other. And you're all trying to do your best for each other. And you're all trying to share your problems. Whatever you've had. Others are trying to help each other with this, with that. Where before we never had the time for that. We're too busy with our lives. You might have been. But all I do... And all I pray for in this world is for us all to unite together in love and peace. It's the only way, guys. It's the only way. Brilliant. And enjoy that ain't the now. journey that we're on. Because this journey has been a tough old road for a lot of us. Like I said, a lot of you have to go on this journey. A lot of you have to go through them tough times. But here you are now. And understand that. And it hasn't been easy for us. Here you are now, on Facebook, listening to this mindless drivel. Good Lord. Uh oh, was that blasphemy? Guess it was. For a lot of you. But you're still here. That heart's still beating. You know? Let's start smiling. Let's start sharing that love again. Let's start spreading the goodness of the world. And let's make this change happen. Wait. Can we have Wayne on wheels again? That was fun. Ever to be, will be. We can't. Can we dress up as stormtroopers and act like absolute monumental knobbers over the park again? That was fun. Can't change, but they've got. Plans ahead. All we can do is send our prayers out, work together. It's out of our hands. Divine intervention coming together. And that's through the people of this world. Can we start collecting magnetic dust again, Wayne? That was fun. Yeah, it's been tiring for a lot of us. But you know what? No matter how much he's thrown at us. Do you know what? I hope it snows this year. He's going to do that setting snowballs alight. Get back up. We dust ourselves down. We don't give up. We keep getting up. We keep getting up to our last breath. Yeah? And God does win, Christine. God does win. Amen. You think if a lot of you went to parks and just met your fellow friends and brothers and sisters and you all held hands and started saying a little prayer, what? send it up. You imagine going to the shopping centre and everyone in that shopping centre come together and stood outside and they all held hands and you said a prayer. Imagine that. People would be going, what's going on? Yeah, they would. They'd be like, oh, God, I'm agnostic, I'm atheist, I'm Buddhist, I'm this, I'm that. Well, no, no, I've only come here to get a loaf of bread and a pint of milk. I've never experienced this before, because they're caught in the worldly world. But they feel that love, that energy going through each other's body, like electricity flowing. No, they really wouldn't. I'd just be like, oh, God. You know, it's that polite uncomfortableness, like when you can't be rude to Jehovah Witnesses. You, you know, that kind of thing. I just can't be rude to Jehovah Witnesses and Mormons and stuff like that and knock on your door. I can't. Um, but and I let them have their five minutes and then, like, I usually make out. I've got to go out or something. <laughs> but I find it incredibly difficult to be like, I can't be rude to them. But, man, when they start, when you get do get rid of them at the end, and they're like, oh, okay, well, like, God bless you. And, uh, oh, God, it's just uncomfortable for me. It's like, yeah, thanks. Like, you have a great day too. Look after yourselves. That's kind of how I can't, I can't join in. It's just like, it's just uncomfortable. So if I turn up at Tesco's for a pint of milk and a loaf of bread, and that shit was going down, I'd be like, oh, man, really? This is a bit uncomfortable. But that connection's been broke, because they don't want the new connecting. So let's start getting back out there and connecting. Let's start getting a few groups together all over this country, all around the world. Start doing little prayers. Come together, hold hands. Say That's been going on for ages. There's been prayer circles um, on Facebook and things like that. Um, 
they're, 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 they've been around forever. You're not coming up with anything new. And that's way, way, way before COVID. And prayers. Pray for the world. Pray for peace. Pray for brothers and sisters. Pray for the children. Pray for healing. I've had brothers and sisters that have been uh, poisoned. It's the only way. Just be quiet, you dickhead. Guys, we've overcome fear. Now just bring that love back and then start sharing it. I think we need it, yeah, at the, the end. New world order. Oh my god, the new world order, deep state, blah 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 This is their last shot. Whoa. And they're gonna fail miserably. Not my words. Hang on, you said you didn't know how it was gonna end. Now they're gonna fail miserably. Do you have a vision? Anyway, I'm gonna love you and leave you brothers and sisters. Thank god, goodbye. Can't be fucked with him. Ugh. That was really annoying, wasn't it? My God, how slow. Why does he speak so slow? Is there something wrong with him? Is he on medication? Well, I'm not taking the piss. If he is, like, that could be a reason for it. Um, But, wow. He's going to have to raise his game. He needs to get snappier and chirpier. This is not how cult leaders pull a crowd. He's not going to fill out Wembley Arena, is he? You know, he's not he's not he's not gonna have the O2 packed to the rafters listening to his pearls of wisdom unless he snappies his game off a bit. Come on. Never known anyone talk as slow as that. Blimey. Right, anyway. I can't believe I've managed to get through John Wedger and Bloody Wayne Fox. I don't know I like I don't I've done a little case cooking as well. I've needed a little little bit of peace over the weekend. Um, a little bit of fun. And of course, we've always got Fatty there. She's probably done a live in this time. Not a live. They pre-record. Quite handy, that. Banging out videos, 15 minutes. How much easier is that than a five-hour live stream? Brilliant. But anyway, folks, it is Sunday. I'm still on holiday as of um, tomorrow because I'm on my hiatus i'm on my holiday um haven't got anything really done that i wanted to get done but hey been pretty chilled it was needed so anyway you look after yourselves um have a good week and uh look after yourselves so i've got some pre-records going up not really feeling lives at the moment well, i might but i probably won't but hmm, don't know maybe during the day lunchtime or something like that i might <clears throat> but yeah, outside of that, probably won't. Anyway, look after yourselves, take care, have a super week, and uh, catch you soon. Bye-bye.